Hello and welcome. My name is Kitana. I'm an engineer at Supermicro. Today we'll be going through a guided tutorial for setting up a chatbot using Llama 370B Instruct on Supermicro's Gaudi 2 with Intel Gaudi Software Suite. Without further ado, let's introduce the Supermicro Gaudi 2 AI server. As an overview, you'll need the Gaudi 2 AI server, Ubuntu 22.04, Intel Gaudi Software Suite, Metalama 370B Instruct Model, TGI Gaudi GitHub, Habana Gaudi Tutorials GitHub, and then a demonstration. For prerequisites, please download the model from Hugging Face prior, set up a Habana Labs PyTorch environment, have familiar with Docker and Gradio. Let's get familiar with our system. Here is Supermicro's Gaudi 2 landing page. This is a game-changing AI accelerator changing the landscape for deep learning, machine learning, and AI. It delivers exceptional performance, energy efficiency, scalability, versatility, and cost effectiveness. Please visit Supermicro's site for more details. Let's check out the documentation for Intel Gaudi. This is how you'll get started, where you will be downloading files from, and also any supporting elements you'll be needing. For instance, in our example, we'll be using Habana Labs virtual environment for PyTorch. Let's take a look at the architecture. In this page, it'll show you the processor diagram. This gives you a bit of an overview of how that will look. And then we'll be focusing on the Intel Gaudi software suite. To get the PyTorch environment set up, you will need to go to the software stack and driver installation page. Install the installation script from the vault via the command line listed here. Once installed, you will be able to get PyTorch running and have a virtual environment. In a moment, we will do this together. Here are some more details on how to do so. Please refer back to this website for your reference. Now let's check what version our software and drivers are for our system. We're going to type in HLSMI. Currently, we have the latest software and driver installed. For our demos today, we will be using a Docker container that is using four of the Gaudi cards, the 7, 6, 5, and 4. Create an environment name for the chatbot demo for the virtual environment. Run the installation script to create a PyTorch virtual environment. Click yes to continue as that loads. We'll activate the environment using source, the name of our environment, bin slash activate. Next, change directories to the chatbot demo folder. As a side note, go to Hugging Face Metalama 3. You can also check out their website listed here. Note that for this example, we have already pre-downloaded the model from Hugging Faced. Next, you'll want to go to GitHub for TGI Gaudi Hugging Face. We're using the latest version. We're going to clone that repository in our directory with the title of the branch for the latest release. As we download this, we'll fast forward and get the next repository that we're looking for. So we'll have a total of two cloned Git repositories inside this. The next is the Habana AI Gaudi Tutorials. We'll just clone this repository. We'll be using the RAG application folder inside it shortly. Give it a moment while it finishes downloading. Let's check that we have both in our directory. Perfect. Let's look at the T TGI Gaudi directory structure. Inside, we'll find a Docker file, which we'll be using to create an instance of the text generation interface Docker image. As this downloads, it may take some time. We've sped through. Let's ensure that the container is online. With Docker PS, we'll also check that the image has been downloaded as it has. Let's go back one directory and set up the model 
and volume for where our model is stored on our local machine. Change back to TGI Gaudi. And then we're gonna run this command. Note that we are taking this command from the TGI Gaudi documentation and we're using our container ID. We are using cards four, five, six, seven. Let's ensure that it has successful. To do so, let's go back to the Gaudi docs for TGI Gaudi. We are going to send a simple request. Note that our port number is 8090, so we'll update this. Once this simple request gets sent and we get an output, great. Our Docker container is working as expected. Now we'll change to Gaudi Tutorials PyTorch RAG application. And note that I've already installed the script our team has made and our SMC logo in this directory here. We'll be using Gradio. This is a common and simple way to build and share great machine learning web applications. We'll take a look at the quick start guide to get the install. We'll also need Langchain. It's a framework for developing web applications with the power of LLMs. To install, we'll go to the how to guides, click the how to install Langchain packages. It's just gonna be Langchain. And then the last package will be the text generation inference. So just pip install Gradio, Langchain, and text generation in order to make this script work. We'll speed through this. Next, we're going to the site packages for text generation. We'll be editing this file called client.py. Inside, we'll use a Vim editor. We're going to modify the line 49. We're going to increase the timeout from 10 to 300. This increase in timeout will allow for longer requests to have the appropriate amount of time for the LLM to process. So now we can go back to the chatbot demo, Gaudi Tutorials PyTorch RAG application to run our script, the chatbot Llama 370B. We're gonna click our URL, enter in our credentials, and we have our demonstration. We will run the default prompt. So there's gonna be a role of the LLM um, acting as a helpful assistant, and the chatbot has persistent memory, small persistent memory. So it'll be able to understand previous queries. So now that we've asked, what does the company Supermicro do? We've gotten a pretty detailed response back. Let's ask if it can explain a bit more. Without the timeout that we increased earlier, that would have closed out our application. So now we have a more detailed and rich response, giving us some information about what more Supermicro has to offer. We're going to run through some other examples. So I'm going to have the role of the LLM respond in a different language. So when I ask a question in English, respond in Arabic first and then again in English. Let's ask, what was the first president of the United States and when was their birthday? This demonstrates the different language capabilities that Llama 3 
has included. Let's see if we are able to get the native writing. Okay, that seems reasonable. Let's try another language. Here we'll try Danish. Okay, let's try one more. How about German this time? I've had some colleagues verify that these are fairly correct. We'll try it in Hindi, see if we can get some more interesting native language. That looks really promising. Let's try some more languages, such as Vietnamese. With the simple queries, it's able to go quickly. We'll try it again in Mandarin. Okay. We'll try one last language in Spanish and then Let's try something different. Let's update the role for our helpful assistant. From now on, we want to respond only in English. And we're going to ask one of the default questions we have below. Note that there can be some hallucinations. And let's see if it provides one. Yeah, it's still taking on the role that we've assigned earlier. So let's be a little bit more clear with our prompt. Remember, prompt engineering is very, very helpful when using these large language models. So going forward, when you respond to my question, respond to the questions in English only. Let's see if that helps. We're gonna ask it to do a explanation of binary search, um, providing a solution in Python and then translating into C++. That'll take a little bit of time. So while that is being developed, let's recap. We've set up a PyTorch virtual environment, text generation interface, Docker container, and successfully set up a chatbot using Llama 3 70B on Supermicro's Gaudi 2 AI server. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or want to learn more about Supermicro's Gaudi 2, feel free to reach out to Supermicro Technology Enablement. Like and subscribe for more content.